Hey everyone, so we're at Perimbur Church, more specifically the most famous place of Perimbur Church recently. The grotto standing behind me is part of a church called Luj Shrine of Perimbur or Mother Church if you speak Tamil. This church has been around for a very, very, very long time and I personally, yours truly over here way back in the day, was an altar boy for about three years at this very shrine. So we're going to go now and take a you know, few other places in perspective and show you those places in my Perambur. You guys stay tuned. The bell is started which means it's time for the church gates to open and this is a very old church. So check out what I have to show you from my childhood and my life and maybe the next time you're in Perambur you pay this church a visit. Now this is a part of Perimbur that is very close to my heart. When I was a small boy and we used to go to school, uh, we used to play basketball, a lot of sports. So it used to be a basketball ground right there, right across this place. And we used to go and play basketball there and come back at around 6.37 in the evening. It was the only place that had a floodlight so we could play till late. And then we would come here and then we would have a fry. Whatever fry it was, we'd have a fry. If you want to know more about fries and what fry is there and all that stuff, then you should come here. It's called International Fast Food and it's the place that I had come when I was what? 12, 13 years old all the way up to the time that I was 18, 19 years old. So come on in and like I told you, this is Perambur, this is old school Perambur, right? A lot of things haven't changed. You'll probably find the same chairs and tables that were there when I was a kid. So come on in, I'll show you what's happening and you can check out some food for yourself. We're over here and as you can see, uncle is like very seriously looking at the camera because he's a little nervous. <laughs> but we call him uncle, but you, you can know him as, what's your name sir? Aloysius. Okay, so it's Aloysius sir or uncle or Anna if you want to. So how long have you been open Aloysius sir? The past 27 years. 27 years. So how did you come up with the idea that you want to make idlis and roast and idlis and... So I was in Bombay, no? Yeah. I was in Bombay at uh, Obey Sheraton. Okay. <laughs> I was there for 10 years. I had a full practice training in Obey Sheraton. And then you came to Nambur Chennai and then you were like, ah, super business idea. Yeah, yeah. Cool. This, this uh, menus are all like, uh, what you call it, Portuguese men menus. I know. I know. So how many Anglo-Indians come here every day and buy stuff oh. from you? Mostly, nearly about 50, 60 people, they come, families. Aloysius uncle and I will go at the back, show you the kitchen and get some food here in our belly. We'll see you guys in a little while, stay tuned. Because Aloysius uncle is like really busy. Okay, Aloysius uncle, we'll go inside and raid your kitchen, is that okay? Most welcome, you go. May I come in? Sure, come? sure. sure. Alright, so we're going to do that now, we'll see you in a little while, stay tuned and don't go in. Hey everyone, so this is not something that we normally do here at Channel UFX, uh, coming and shooting.